Alright, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Mini Healer as part of the Indie Game Lightning Round. For some reason, this game doesn't have a uh, full screen mode, which is really off putting. We'll see if it really changes too much. Anyway, let's get going. Start, new game, normal mode, Mini Healer as is. There's hardcore mode. Yeah, we're not gonna try that. Let's see, was the game like this where you played a healer not long ago? Oh yeah, plenty. Uh, there's looking for heals, there's healer quests, there's a bunch of them. I don't exactly know what started the trend. I guess MMOs did, but there have been just like a number of different games attempting kind of the same general angle, which is you play as the healer, kind of micromanaging your party, instead of actually playing as the party, which is kind of nice. Okay, so welcome to the vault. Legend says that long ago, uh, long uh, that long time ago, many powerful artifacts were hidden here. It's now up to you and your party to find and acquire them. These are your party members, and they will automatically attack the boss for you. Your job as the healer is to keep them healthy at all times. All right, so can I? Uh, uh oh, looks like your tank has taken some damage. Let's heal them up. Select it by clicking anywhere on this portrait or health bar. Great job. Cast your first spear. Uh, healing spell, lesser heal. Cool. Heal. Amazing, that should be all you need to know. Defeat the Bone Knight. Venture into the vault and find the greatest treasures within. Careful not to run out of mana, you won't be able to cast spells. So how much does this heal? Can we see? Small but effective heal. Let's wait until he gets down and we can start trying to do heal math on that. Alright. So it looks like it's about 80 HP, give or take. Uh-oh, looks like your tank's bleeding. Don't worry, here's a new skill that can help. Renew! Boop. I used to play World of Warcraft fairly consistently when I was younger. Uh, mainly in high school. And for a while, it was just like a Death Knight DPS. But eventually, I got kind of bored of that and switched over to Heal Over Time uh, Druid kind of combo. It worked. It actually worked pretty well. It was definitely slower and more relaxing than being a DPS, maybe, but I also had to yell at people more because they were dumb. It was interesting. I enjoyed it. And then I got real bored of the game and stopped playing entirely, and I more or less have never been back. I play World of Warcraft here and there, but it just never really quite fit. So, we get extra heal power, party health, party physical damage, and a talent point. To Haven. Welcome to the Hidden Haven. You can rest and prepare yourself for your next fight. Visit the talent room to learn different talents and masteries. Every time you level up, you gain a talent point. Feel free to also check out the other other items in the room. So, vault waypoints, talent room. Okay. So, we can upgrade various things. So, we've got Druid, Priest, and Occultist. Druid's got Nature's Blessing. That's... Some of this is just kind of maybe apes, whatever. So that's just a flat heal power bonus. Max mana every time renews, uh, heals a target, chance to restore some mana. I like the idea of abundant growth. Let's take a look at the rest. Sacrifice a talent point. What? All right, let's go for Abundant Growth. That seems useful. Looks like you can also do loadouts and some other things. So Vault Waypoints. So we did the Vault Entrance. I guess reach level 32 to unlock. Oh, I see how this works. Uh... Okay, Gump. Difficulty level 2. Difficulty level 1. So Bone Knight. I think we already did Bone Knight. There's also Brutal, which is difficulty level 8. Alright, time to do Gump. Oh, I see. Yep, there we go. Time to fight the Gump. Engage. Tried to get in a while, couldn't. Enjoyed Star Wars The Old Republic. The story for the Empire was so good. Oh, debuffs. Hover every debuff. Okay, Dispel can remove some harmful effects. I enjoyed what little, uh... Okay, cannot be, cannot be dis dispelled. I, I don't know, I rather enjoyed, yep. Okay, switch to that. I enjoyed 
the Old Republic MMO. I think my biggest beef with it was kind of twofold. It was kind of ugly, and we tried playing it as like a, a big uh, group back when I was still playing with larger amounts of people. And the problem I ended up running into with that was very much just like trying to corral four people to play an MMO simultaneously is actually kind of awful. Man, it's like playing WoW all over again, except for I don't have to worry about my positioning, which helps a lot. Alright, so we get an item. So we get gold, but we also have a simple sword. Tank damage. Uh, I wonder how we actually equip that. Okay, visit the artifact, or the armory in Hidden Haven to learn more about it. Where is armory? Armory. You can equip an artifact by dragging it onto the appropriate equipment slot. Gain its power. Double-clicking also works. Oh, so we're just equipping all of this stuff onto me and no one else. So, extra tank damage and berserker physical damage. Oh yeah, I do have a berserker. I haven't actually paid any attention to my own team. Whoops. Okay, so we have Ixior. Level 3. Cool. So I guess we have to fight him to learn some of these things. Okay. Some damage belongs to a certain element. That's fine. Engage. Start with that. Yes. Uh, the Old Republic always felt strangely single player. It really was. And it's actually one of those where, like, I wouldn't mind playing that one again. I don't know if I'd stream it. That's, that's my one thing. Ooh. Ow. Because, unfortunately, like all MMOs, they just tend to be a little long. And that's tough for me. I like I like shorter games that I can beat within, like, uh, a couple of hours, if possible. Cast powerful buffs on them. Okay, so we have negate. I don't know if that actually helped too much. I'm trying to see where his buff bar is, but I haven't spotted it yet. Nor does it seem to matter too much. I've got some talent points. I should probably go use those. So we've got... Ghost. Extra heal power. Healer physical damage. Party physical damage. Party dodge chance. And increase party maximum health by a fair bit. Cool. To Haven. All right, we now have the skill room. All right, I will bite. I'm actually kind of enjoying this. Skill room. Bring the right skills to a battle is key for success. Check back here often and see what skills you've unlocked. Also find angelic crystals. Use them to upgrade your skills. Well, I don't have any. So yeah, it looks like we've got a decent number of skills to kind of play around with. So, Radiant Heal. Longer time heals all party members for a moderate amount. Well, I'll throw it on for the time being. Uh, let's go back to the talent room. I'm just gonna do that. 45% chance to restore mana after every cast seems like a good idea. Got anything else? The answer is no. Back to the entrance. Alright, fight her, fight her. Them. In fact. Okay, sometimes there are additional environmental effects. Which is, it's daytime. Engage. Well, that drastically increased the, uh... The tank's HP, holy crap. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to be using Radiant Heal a little bit more often here. Oh, because we're hitting the wrong person. It's like wow all over again. 
Party's not paying attention to the current target. That is a mistake. You gotta watch out for my mana a little bit. The extra mana from the Radiant Heal seems like a good idea. I wonder if I can reduce the cooldown on that one. There we go. Jeez, not going down, down quick. It cannot be negated. Okay, so we found the, uh... We've, we found where their buffs are. I just gotta figure out what the exact color scheme is. It's fine. But, oh. Okay, so we did get the treasure. New record, of course. Flawless victory. Hooray. And we get more loot. This is the kind of game where procedurally generated loot I think is actually quite useful. And important. Give the moon, party ice resist, extra, extra mana... Maximum mana and mana regen. Cool. I will take. Oh, how do we go back? Oh, shoot. Let's just do that again, I guess. I hit continue instead of go, go back home. And that was a mistake. Go from there. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to play MMOs again, honestly. I wish I had more time for it, because I really do miss the, like, the teamwork aspects and the, the community feeling of it. I obviously get a lot of that straight up from... Oh, right, they must have switched... What time of date was? Uh, it's just heal, I guess. But I, I very fondly remember playing... World of Warcraft when I was in high school and just having this like kind of feeling of like yeah everybody hops on and just does something fun together for a while uh, and I got I get that every once in a while with like YouTube groups and what whatnot but I think no matter what it's just difficult to get out get people together and organize and maybe it's easier if you actually find like a good guild to work with I've just haven't quite had the uh, the luck now that I'm older. I also haven't put the time into actually finding that sort of thing. Yeah, I love the idea of MMOs. None could ever itch the desire, though. But you don't have the friends you want to play them with me. I think it's also just because MMOs tend to be... I'm not going to say worse than most games, but they tend to be inferior to, like, other games kind of in the same genre. Like, I like I like Guild Wars too, but I always found it to be kind of a mediocre action RPG. Let's see. And, like, that's no... I, I don't mean to, like... You know, cast shade on a relatively decent game. It's just one of those where it's like, I would love to play... What's a what's a good example? I, mean, I don't know. I'd like to play an MMO that's closer to, like, Dragon's Dogma in, times of, in terms of combat, or... Oh, that's how we get back to the Hidden Haven. Got it. Alright, do we only have these bosses? I guess so. That's fine. Like, played some Black Desert Online. Liked the combat, and that was it. Didn't like much else. Black Desert Online especially had the issue of being, like, 50% an economy simulator kind of game. And that was... rough. That from my perspective, I enjoy playing MMOs for the, the team aspect. Wait. Okay, so I don't think we can kill the crystal. Which sucks. 
And I'm silent. Uh oh. I'm out of juice. I don't think we're beating this one. That guy. That guy's a little punchier. All right. Why don't we... Oh, what are these? Trophies. Eh. Vault waypoints. Let's go back to the vault entrance. Let's just... uh. Gosh, who do we beat on? What difficulty level is that? Seven. What if we go back to the skeleton knight? Bust him up to brutal. He didn't seem particularly complicated to fight previously, so maybe he's just statistically stronger here. The crystal is immortal. Figured. I want more heal over time effects. That's my thing. Just watching the numbers tick up without me doing a dang thing about it. Makes everything so much easier. Uh-oh. He's enraged. Cannot be negated. Maybe it's not a big deal. It feels like a big deal. Spread that out. Ow. Unfortunately, lesser heal is kind of garbage. I haven't specced, in it, specced into it in the slightest. Mostly reliant on that heal over time. Yeah, group heal over time would be great. Well, level up. So that wasn't so bad. Uh, and we get a necklace. Critical heal chance, extra mana regen per second. Cool. Alright, so now we got a full combo except for whatever that is. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming I don't have any of those orbs. So back to the talent room. Ooh! Poison increases ranger's damage. Ice. Heal power by seven. Renew. Four points in druid. Maximum three levels. Let's take a look at skill room. Oh, I have some new skills. Spirit Ritual. Single target heal over time. Heals the target at the end of the duration. Priest has Holy Shield. Occultist has Siphon Life. What else do we have? Rejuvenate. Store small amount of mana per second over 10 seconds. Flash heal and some other things. Oh, that's just the tutorial again. All right. Uh, go to the talent rune. Let's finish off nature's blessing for the time being. It, weirdly enough, this is actually kind of compelling. It's obviously just kind of repetitive. But compelling all the same in terms of just like... Basic process. Basic Skinner box kind of situation. Definitely could use a... Pop Rejuvenate. Oof, that's got a long cooldown. So don't use don't use that unless I'm actually getting low. I do kind of miss better key bindings. I don't I don't really like having all of these queued to just like one through what is that, seven? I did better when I have had like certain key sets. Also not having my uh not having numbers or letters next to all of these things is actually really weird. Let's see. Only thing I'd add is a way to get new guys. I could yeah, I could understand that. Having 
being able to switch out the party members and even giving them their own talents, I think would be really cool. Because I'd love it if I could actually micromanage, not what the tank does, but what his abilities are. Because I'd love to have a regen tank. I'd love, ha love to have a, uh... Can I just restart that fight? Hey, I'd love to have a regen tank instead, or like a full block tank, or just a maximum HP tank. I guess that's kind of what the gear is, but like it'd be really cool if I could change his current like ability loadout. <laughs> Definitely digging the heal over times though. It's just like blip. Drop it and watch the healing go. Like, I think I'll get rid of Flash Heal at this point. I don't think it's worth it. Eh. Let's go for the team wide heal. But mostly just drop the hots. Eh, get some mana back for a little while. There we go, easy. Level up again. Well, he's worth a decent amount. Do we get anything cool? We get a staff. Staff does extra heal, power, healer, ice damage, healer, lightning damage. I actually know if that's any better. All right, I need to go do push-ups. I should go work on that. Uh, let's see, so I got a staff. Staff better than, yeah. Maybe. Do I want to just go for Conjuration? It might not be a bad idea. Just invest pure into heal power after this point. Because Harmony seems useful. But we need more spells. I'm just going invest, to invest in those. Okay. Let's take a look at Talent Room. Oh, we have two more. Increases all party members' uh, resistances. Boosts rangers' physical damage. Tanks max health. Tanks resist. Nemesis resist and elemental resist. Oh, increase mana regen by 0.2 per second. Reduce mana cost of all skills by three. Oh, that's that's silly. I like that. Uh, let's see. But I want to take a look at the skill room. Nature's gift is a heal over time. Okay, so let's. Let's switch this around. There we go. That seems reasonable, but push-ups. Okay. So I've got the heal over time that I'm looking for. Let's uh let's try and let's boost this up a little bit. Get us out of breath because push-ups. Okay. Engage. We're up against the gump. It cannot be dispelled. But I got the heal over time effect, so I don't need to worry about it as much. Let's see. I don't actually know what that one does. Nor am I paying as nearly as much attention. Give it to the corrupting heal. Right. I should be spreading out my heal over time effect. Because I think it actually has like a net positive on my mana generation. Could be wrong. Man, that heal over time is goofy strong. See, so wonder what happened to your wrist. Fell off of a bike like 15 years ago, and ever since my right wrist has always had uh, issues. Not huge ones, but it's it's enough that it's dangerous for me to like push it too much. Because if I, if I were to just kind of ignore it, I could potentially burn the whole thing out and not do any, like, really active... Uh, anything terribly active with it. Like, I wouldn't be able to click much. I wouldn't be able to do platformers. And, honestly, it's not a big deal. Like, I'll generally always be fine. But there are a couple of points in time where it's, like, absolutely screwed me over just a bit. Uh, you can actually go back and watch in Wander Song. That was a period of time where I could barely use use my hands, specifically my right hand. 
because it was so bad. One arm push ups. I guess, but then I'd look real goofy. Okay. So we start earning mastery experience every battle. Every mastery level will grant you a mastery point. It can be used to improve your favorite talents even further. Wow, so this whole thing is just a giant progression. You know what? I'm totally cool with it. So. I see. So by mastering it further, I can get extra renew effects and even more duration. Extra max mana and abundant growth mana restore chance. Just flat heal power on top of everything else. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Ooh, reduces max mana, though. What I want is this one, though. Him specifically grants me... Uh, reduces all of my skill costs and increases my mana regen. Like, that just, that just sounds pretty goofy strong. And... I don't know, I think I'll save that mastery point, at least for a little while. Alright, let's go back here. We should be able to fight this horror now. Oh, defeat normal and unlock. Whoops. Actually never fought that. See, so wonder you right-handed. Yep. But yeah, I don't I don't want to like endanger my livelihood. Just for the, uh, you know, just for extra fitness points. It'd be fun, but, eh. Well, no, it wouldn't be fun. It would hurt, and it's pointless. Because I, I can just say, like, eh, screw it and wait. Are they draining my mana? Right, I have less maximum mana. That's what I have to be worried about. Okay, let's let's save our, our Gibbs for a bit. Luckily, my heal over times are stupid. And give me mana. So as long as I have them running, I'll be good. And there they go. Dip to the carries over from the Flash version. Yeah, go for it. What is that? Malice. Tank max HP. Party max HP. Whenever the tank takes damage, he'll deal damage to the attacker. Hell yeah. Because yeah, this just gets some extra heal power, which is really useful. Oh, let's see. And one more point, we'll have that out. Okay. Back to these two. Get up in there. Be okay. I gotta be a little concerned. Luckily, I can focus a little bit better on what my team is doing during this period of time. A little bit more. They hurt, though. Oh, the crystal in the back could be targeted to get mana back. I see. I was curious about that. Because I was trying to hit it to kill it earlier. But I didn't really see the, uh...
I didn't really see the greater effects of it all. Okay. Spread this around. You gotta pay attention when those... when the target switches. Unfortunately, I'm... I'm a little busy. And everything's a little tough. Looks like we're doing fine, though. I just gotta probably farm these two or the previous boss at least a couple of times. Ow! Oh, can I stack this? I wasn't aware that I could stack that. It's a little expensive, though. That's the one unfortunate thing. So I don't quite want to do that. So this one's actually pretty good. Spirit Ritual is... Oh, gosh. Like, half of these druid spells are just familiar World of Warcraft-style spells. I totally understand how they work. Ooh, lightning sword. And some other things. What's this? Sword of the Sun and Moon. Tank fire damage, healer ice damage. Tanks attacks have a chance to deal fire damage to all enemies. And so it's a damage thing. Damage ain't bad, but I'm mostly looking to go for heal. This is the attribute of armors. I don't know if we can buy or sell anything. Stats and info. Yeah, I don't know what we're using gold for. Yeah, one way or another, I want to finish this off. Oh, does it not... This does not scale up quite as much as I wanted to. How many mastery points do I even have? I don't see that list anywhere. I have three. Is it that? Oh, points available three. There we go. That is very small. I'll just focus a little bit on the re renew. Okay, Vault Waypoint. Who is the easiest man in all the lands that I can just defeat? And be lazy. I don't know, let's try and fight this guy. Well, it doesn't look like Ixior is actually particularly difficult yet. So we might want to just farm Ixior. What is that? So it's a sunburst effect. Ow! Yeah, okay, that's... That's a little hurty. Nature's gift. Prepare for his inevitable sunburst again? I don't actually know if he's gonna do another one. Oh, he's gonna icy to myself. A little spooky. I don't actually know if that's an issue. And he's dead. Well, that was easy. I guess he actually wasn't worth nearly as much EXP as the other character was. What is this? Heal power, effect of lesser heal, party block chance, elemental resist. That was actually not that useful. Shame. Well, let's restart and just keep fighting him. Now, unfortunately, I think that's going to be the one thing that does this game in a little bit, is that there's not immediately a whole lot of dynamism 
for me uh, to comment commentate over. I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this. Whoops, that's the wrong button. But it's one of those where, like, unfortunately, with the way the game is organized, uh... With the, game, with the way the game is organized, it's mostly just kind of focusing on meters and not really commentating over what's going on. And because there's only so much immediately available content, it's kind of just like, well, yeah, talking over this is just going to be virtually not impossible. Slow. I could try and do it, especially because people seem to enjoy this. Hey, we don't get exploded. And we get... Obviously a bunch of stuff, and we get a bow. Bow is kind of boring. Well, do we restart? No, I got, a, I got a talent point and maybe some more mastery points. I got two mastery points. I want three. Giving this one more, dura uh, one more second of duration seems like a good idea. Uh, so what do I start investing in? Increases heal power by 10. Whoa. Extra spirit ritual stacks. That might not be a bad idea. Increases ranger's damage. Attack and poison. It's not a bad idea. Adds ice to everybody's attacks. This one seems to be just kind of spread around capabilities. That's better for the tank. Let's see, that increases all party members' resistances, nature's gift effect, and just, just flat regen. Hmm. What about pre skills? I could invest into them, but it, I'm not sure if I want to. See, if the first was 25, and then after that it went up to 36. Or was it 24 and then 36? I was hoping that would actually be a faster scale. I like the idea of investing in Flourish for a little bit of natural regen. I don't actually know if that's worth much, especially later on, but still. Let's see, so Typhoon, Storm spawns and does damage. Renew and a ritual effects. Spirit ritual also reduces the cooldown of rejuvenate. All party members rejuvenate one HP. Huh. Oh, but it reduces my maximum mana by one. Might still be worth it though. Alternatively, blessing of the forest. Heal power by 70. Every six seconds, all party members are healed for 2% of their missing health. That's not much, but flat bonus is nice. Okay, uh, you were asking about pre-skills. Yeah, the problem is I only have one, uh, one point available. And I don't really want to spread it around. Ooh. Regen Aura no longer reduces maximum mana, so that'd be that'd be worthwhile. Alright, skill room. I still don't have any of these orbs. Do we have any new skills that we've unlocked? Let's actually grab the spirit orb. I'm gonna get rid of the group heal. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, so we gotta be 19. I see. That makes sense. All right, well, this is actually a decent stopping point, at least for the first episode of this. I'm going to do more. I'm enjoying this. I like the micromanagement. It's kind of fun. But 
at least for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.